waiting for my uh, glow host, I'm sorry, co-host uh, Glow to get in here. Hold on. Look at that word play right there, glow host. I think that's going to stick. <laughs> On January 25th, 2023, the Imprinted Energy is now Glow Host. Today is January 25th, 2023. We got a six and seven day. So obviously, under energy, you want to stay home, relax, be with yourself, by yourself. But um, I got Glow next to me, so I'm not really not by myself. But you, overall, you want to be at home. We're at home right now. So you want to go with the energy, never against it. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. That's that's actually going to be a song. I got to make a beat to that. Just my voice right there. I'm going to sample that part. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Gun, welcome, welcome, Gun. I know you. I think you ran one of your first spaces today. I don't know if it's your first or second space, but uh, you're definitely welcome to speak, too. We can talk about John Wick. Uh, they're in John Wick 4, right? It's not John Wick 5. We can speak about John Wick uh, 4. I could talk about three hours just about that in itself. So I think it's very interesting that Keanu Reeves is born near the dragon, right? Keanu Reeves, the actor, is born near the dragon. Enemy sign is the dog. Notice how shitty his life got after he got that dog. He's on the run. People are trying to kill him. Uh, that's kind of like art imitating life when it comes to enemy signs. Keanu Reeves, born near the, the dragon. As soon as he got that dog, he's been on the run for his life, fighting to stay alive. Very interesting how that works. Uh, let's see who else we got here. What did win the win? What's up, man? I like uh, John Wick just because he just want to be left alone, you know. Yeah, people kept fucking with him. Yeah, I mean, he just wanted to be alone. Then the the the, 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 the kid in the first movie had to kill the dog. Like he could, he just leave the dog alone. So he had hey, to do... Can I throw something at you though? I mean, yeah, go um, ahead. I'm June 28, nineteen eighty seven. Oh man, you went, you went right. Oh, you're a cat. I didn't even know you were a cat. Like you're a cat. I, I, I you were know. a cat. Does, does anything jump out of you? I don't want to read it. Does anything jump out? You know? So wait, so June, so you said June 20th, 87, right? 28th, Elon. Oh, 20, oh, he's, oh he's born on the Elon birthday. Wow, must be nice, right? Does that, is that weird? It's so weird. It's so it's, weird. It's no, a little no. weird. I know. <laughs> no, I mean, I wish I was born on the 28th. I wish that almost every day, but it is what it is. Some of us have to work harder for our things out of life. Some of us have to work. You, it is given to you. You get freebies. Everything's given to you. You're born on the 28th. I'm not going to ever feel sorry for you. You know what, dude? Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, but, hey, it must be nice, man. How, how's things been? I'm pretty sure you never really struggled as far as uh, getting bills paid and making rent. I'm sure overall you always found a way. Cause you're I, have a, I don't ever really have to worry about stuff, no, but I, I do work hard when it comes to it. Cap. No, I'm joking. But no, I appreciate it, man, because I DM'd you. I said, hey, give me a freebie. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh my God! Dude, listen, yeah, but, the, you know, ever since Cat Year, well, even close before Cat Year started, um, the influx in my, my life, um, the energy is it, there's a lot of um, great things happening. Uh, my luck has got. I've been lucky my whole life, but my luck is on times a hundred now at this point. But it's like, are you a it's cat like, as well? Yes, I'm definitely a cat. So no, this this, this cat, in my, this this thunder cat is just for show and tell. I'm not a cat at all. Really? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. <laughs> But this is our lucky year, though. I mean, uh, I know I heard you talking about something like ninety percent of people are gonna have bad luck or something. I don't know. I don't no, know. I mean, if you're if you're born here, the rooster. So our enemy sign is the rooster. So that's anyone six years older than you, or six years younger than you, or even eighteen years older than you, or eighteen years younger than you. So years like nineteen ninety three, nineteen eighty one, nineteen sixty nine, two thousand five, twenty seventeen. Those people overall, you're not gonna gel with. Overall, those people you need to um, stay away from. Um, you can learn a lot from your enemy sign, but I'll, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The cat and the rooster are the most fatally attracted enemy sign group. Cat is imprinted with pussy, and obviously the rooster is imprinted with cock. So cock and pussy are drawn to each other. That's why they're so attracted to each other. They're, they're, they're the most fatally attracted of all the enemy sign groups. So you notice that a lot of cats and roosters end up with each other. I just did a reading with a guy a couple of days ago. He knew about this his entire life. He's actually Chinese, and he knew about this, and he still married the rooster woman. He's still, well, he's a rooster. No, sorry, he married a cat. He still married the cat woman. He knew this and still did. He's like, yeah, I didn't care, but I did anyway. I'm like, how's it going for it? Yeah, it's going all right. And now it seems like he's messaging me every day since then, like he's concerned. And so, you know, I mean, it's always going to be enemy signs. It doesn't mean I hate the guy, but overall, we're going to have different, it's different energies. This matrix is all about duality. You have, you know, it's all about balance. So, whatever the cat lacks, the rooster has. Whatever the rooster lacks, the cat has. It's, just, it's all about balance. The rooster is usually very, very aggressive. They usually the cat is more chill. 
I'm not a chill cat because numerology supersedes. I'm a one life path and I'm also born on the 22nd. So I'm not your average cat. But I'll be honest, I could be biased against my own group. Most cats, even the whole cat, cat goat, pig trying is pretty bitch made overall. Usually where your entertainers, actors, you know, actresses, uh, you know, cats like comfort. But overall, um, it's really a bitch made trying. It's not like how the tiger or ox or any of those energies are more of the fighter signs. But then again, that's not every cat. You look at the UFC, a lot of the top fighters, John Bone Jones, arguably the greatest UFC fighter of all time. He's a cat, 87 cat, quick reflexes, good at playing mind games. Of course, he has, he has those um, PD uh, accusations, but he's still arguably one of the greatest of all time. And UFC is actually a rooster company. So there's a fatal attraction right there. And even the woman's champ, Ronda Rousey, she's born in 1987, Year of the Cat. She was reigning supreme for years at a time, and she was born Year of the Cat. Of course, nothing's meant to last forever, but, you know, that's how it goes. Cats have those, those quick reflexes, you know, when it comes to UFC. So um, yeah, this is my financial advice, but what I do, I would always get gold. Cause you know why? Because gold is a time traveler's currency. Gold is good at any timeline, so always have gold. Right, that's what I can say, because that's a time traveler's currency. And I'm not even joking. People think I'm being a troll, but that's a time trap. Gold is good at any time. Are you serious? Yeah. There's a hundred people there. So, so like, every, like everyone except for you, I think. Wait, so the influencers, wait, wait. So all the influencers came early? Yeah, Kyrie Irving is here right now. And that's Cap. Oh my God, you're right. Kyrie Irving, get the fuck out of here. Kanye West. Kanye West is there. Uh, Kanye Don- West. Uh, uh, Donald Trump is there. Uh, Sneak up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sneeko decided that he wanted to come and talk to Gary about something for, for no reason. Who's the other one that DC? Who's the one that DC talks about a lot? Oh, uh, Aiden, Aiden Ross decided to show up. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Eminem is there too. I'm like, okay, you know what? If Eminem is there, I'm gonna, I, I think I'll be there. Yeah, you, you you knee pads. <laughs> oh yeah, he did say that, but Gary said he has a knee pad. <laughs> Gary, uh, safe to say, um, yeah, he, he's my, my numerology, uh, astrology uh, teacher, I guess. He, he's like, uh, I guess, my my sensei. Like, he's my sensei. He's like a black belt, and I'm like a purple belt. That's how, that's how I, I put it. He's like a, he's like a black belt. I'm like, black, black. What do you say? Yo, Aaron. Black, 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 black. No, you're, you're a black belt. Gary, you're, obviously you're a black belt. I, I'm like, a, I'm like, a, I'm, I, I purple, so I'm like color though. Oh yeah, so I forgot Gary likes that color better, so I understand. So if Gary was making the ranking system, he would make the purple the top belt, which makes we're we're gonna go with purple as number one. Black will be somewhere. Well, we have gray, we have black, we have yellow, we have red will be the very bottom, clearly, obviously, or white, and then you have red at the very bottom. We'll do it with, with the chakra system. That's how we do it. What do you say when people like Kumar tell you it's a scam? Because everything I read about numbers and all this, um, I would tell them, I would tell them to look on my page and tell me that all those hundreds of people that have positive testimony reviews, tell me that those are all fake people. Tell them that they're. Well, the thing is, when I when I read about my numbers or somebody reads it, it's all true. Everything is true. Yeah, like not. It's gonna get so bad that my entire page is gonna be nothing but testimonials. You're like, oh, you he's he's scamming people. These people are AIs. They're not real people. Like those thousands. You paid them all off, man. Stop lying. Like really? You paid all those people off. Yeah, I paid them all. I mean, I have that much money. Paid them all off. Every single last one of them. My money's that long. I I can do that. I think they're just scared of the truth because you know I'm cancer. I'm supposedly a sensitive guy, but you know, I'm I'm pretty. Everything else that says about it, I don't know. Then it comes to like the the moon and all the other planets. I mean, that, that shit gets deep. Yeah, but right. there's certain things that matter more than others. We're, we're all about priority here in GD33. We throw out what doesn't really matter and focus on what really matters the most. I'm sure you guys heard of the 80-20 principle. Throw out the bullshit that doesn't matter. Oh, I'm a Gemini rising. It's like it's like the girl that, that looks like she's pale white, but she's 100% Chinese or 100% black. Like, really? But it's like, you know, you got to focus on what matters. Like, yeah, my great grandfather was a part Indian. And he's, it's like, it's, it gets, it gets kind of laughable at a point. Like, I think we've said it before. We'll say it again. Sun sign, Venus sign, Saturn sign, the rest of that stuff. You can take a toilet paper and wipe your ass with it. I'm just being perfectly honest. Okay. We're not going to lie here and mislead you guys. There's things that matter more than others. Obviously, we have the order of strength. Goes with the numbers. Obviously, your birthday. Second will be the letterology. Third will be Celtic astrology. And then fourth would be the Vedic astrology. And then at the very bottom is the tarot cards and the Western astrology. At the very bottom. But of course, that's the most widely promoted astrology. Of course, we're in the age of Aquarius. Of course, it has its uses. Yes, you are your son. You were born under. But 
it's it doesn't you know again you got to focus on what matters most your physical body was born on earth i don't know what planet you were born on but i'm pretty sure you guys came out of your mothers you know what on earth those planets are farther away oh mercury retrograde everybody's gonna have a bad day and no i didn't have a bad day uh, I've, I've had i've had a great last three years mercury retrograde what is that some signs are more affected than others i we can admit that but to say it's the end of the world because Mercury retrograde. Mercury's back in retrograde. Oh my gosh! Yeah, just just put Mercury retrograde in a tweet. You'll get like three thousand likes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it goes. Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is the reason why um, my my relationship didn't work out. It was a Mercury retrograde, and I shouldn't start a relationship because it's Mercury retrograde. But if you knew that, why would you start a relationship anyway? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But you know, again, that's where you get hundred k followers. I'm just talking about what I just I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the Gary experiment because I know before he had a Western astrology uh, account and I think he put um LGBTQ and rainbow stuff in it and then I, I don't know how many followers I don't know if the experiment shit blew up yeah I don't know shit how many, blew up I'm, I might have to do that one too shit, shit blew the fuck up I don't Maybe. think that'll work right now under Musco and Twitter um, but I mean hell I might have been safer under the old regime oh. this regime this this regime. Uh, they they're cool with the war room. Hmm. Yeah, they trying they to get, get all they, of us. They, 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 they're getting anyone. Fact so of the matter is, they try they try to get me and they couldn't. All that pull they have with so called Musk, and they couldn't even get me. Kind of funny. Yeah, and you came back from the dead. I don't think I've seen anyone do that without. I mean, the Musk anointment. You came back from the dead by your own, basically. Like you came back. Yeah, from no the one helped me. No, well, I, actually, that that is a mistake. Uh. W- Couple people looked out, so yeah, that was a mistake. Some people did help on that one, so I'll give them that. Do y'all think that they the the rich folks use these uh, numerologies for financial decisions? Um, I'm the top of the food chain when it comes to numerologists to the public. Um, I'm sure the Rothschilds probably have something. Some people who know things I, I don't know because it was passed down generationally, but I figure out things they don't know, too. Um, and I haven't released everything I knew to the public, so I doubt they know everything I know as well. But, yeah, I mean, if you're just talking about people in the public, no, nah, there's there's no no one past me. Yeah, and a lot of people always ask the same question, Gary. Oh, if Gary knows so much, why the fuck he's still alive? Clearly, what he's saying is not that well, because they need him to figure out new codes. They're keeping him around. They need him. They learned a lot from him. That's why he's still around. I'm not I'm not going anywhere. My life lying long. Hey Gary, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm actually Aaron Wynn today. I know, I see, I see. I had a question, Gary. I went, I went uh... Oh, that's Gary? Yeah, that's Gary. That's Gary the numbers. <laughs> that's Gary the numbers guy. That's it. That, that that's Aaron Wynn, man. <laughs> it's all good. I got a question for you, real quick, bro. Um, uh-huh. So last week you went live on Instagram, and I was like the first person you chose to go live with you. Actually, when I told you my birthday, it was eleven eleven ninety five, mm-hmm. and you had said you were like, "Oh, just you know, you have to be spiritual, and and the bag will come." Like, mm-hmm. those were your exact words. Okay. So, I like stand by them. Yeah, yeah, no. So, my question to you is, when you mean, when you when you say be spiritual, like, because that could be a, a range of things. So, what, what specifically do you mean by that? Well, that, that's that's the whole thing. I'm not going to, you know, tell you what to do. Right. I'll just, what you're really good at, and you pick what to do from that field. I don't know. Okay, like, it, 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 there's got to be free will involved. <laughs> Yo, know, Michael, what's up, man? Michael has his hand up. Michael, what do you want to say? I just want to throw another question out there. Just with all your knowledge, knowledge gathering wise, Kat, uh, how much you can say, I don't know. But do you know who or what the originators of this, you know, the whole numbers numerology system is? Where, where does it come from? Who does it, when, when did it start? Are the aliens using it? You know, what, how did so, you know? So we have a virtual reality called the Matrix. And this Matrix basically magnifies people's thought process so because everyone believes today is the 25th wherever you are in the world that's what's going to be because the matrix basically can take that the will and thoughts of the people and manifest it now if you're asking me what created the matrix uh sorry brother no one's that bright no human's that bright no one's going to be able to figure that out anytime soon 
all we can do is speculate at this point. I mean, I've thrown names out there, but even that, even that I'm still speculating. I can't know 100% for a fact. I don't think we're even able in this current, you know, what we're stuck in to even be able to think in that type of realm if you think about it. But, you know. What, what was it used before the flood, you know, before that type of shit? Was, was this system in use in, you know, Atlantis or all, you know, whatever type of past ancient civilizations did they, it, it's clearly been around a long, long time. And it must have been used throughout it, history, it, right? It, it, it's being rediscovered right now. People talk about Atlantis, Lemuria, all these other advanced civilizations that predate us. I honestly believe a lot of the advanced technology that people talk about, there's advanced technology in the past. You know, one civilization gets destroyed, comes back up. Oh, it's nothing new under the sun in a lot of cases. But um. All right, I think J, JM has his hand up. JM, go ahead. Hello, hello. Greetings, all. Hello, how are you doing? Very well, thank you, thank you. What's on your um, mind? <laughs> so I was curious if anyone might know, either you or Aaron, um, if um, you know um, how numbers are, how we have the numbers, um, whatever, how we have all our life path numbers. So if if this theory is right, you know, like how numbers and just energy is always perpetual and always like renewing and everything and how maybe in the next lifetime or in a previous lifetime, we may have been like a, a different life path number. I'm curious, do you know if we evolve like progressively, like consecutively, like one through 33 or could it be randomized? Like say I'm a life path in this I, life. I, 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 I got a really, really good idea how it works. Um, all I'm willing to share with the public is 11, 22, and 33 been reincarnated way, way more than everyone else. That's all I'm willing to share. And yes, there is a pecking order, but I'm not mm. putting it out there. Right. Okay. So and then that's not what you think. And what, oh, you have a second question, Jay? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's similar pertaining to the life path numbers. So, for example, I'm at eight life path. And say if I did want to evolve or just, you know, like create intention or thoughts to become a certain life path, or if I had to go in order, like say nine was my next life path number, would it be yeah, beneficial? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 why are you assuming nine is your next life path number? See, I, I, I don't want to assume, but I'm just, then, I'm then just don't. guessing if it, then okay. Don't. So, all right, here's a question if you can answer, if you, if you're willing to, uh, you know, release this knowledge. Say if I wanted to be like more influential on my next life path to 33, for example, if I were to surround myself with more 33 life paths and, you know, like um, just be in their energy, their atmosphere. Would they, that... they, it would help you in this one. It's not going to help you in the next. Hmm. Maybe it will help you pass this one, which will help you, you know, get to the next one. But you're not going to be a 33 just because you're around 33s. Right. I mean, if you're having sex with one, probably help. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put Aaron back on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I just wanted to say that I, I I've been reading Gary's uh, eBooks, and one thing that really shocked me when I read it is that Gary actually predicted Kanye West divorcing Kim Kardashian a couple of years ago. Yes, he did. That's documented. That but here's documented. the question that I really want to ask Gary because this is the one. This is the one that I'm kind of curious about. Gary on <laughs> December 4th of 2019 tweeted, democracy is failing to stop growing power of China. By 2030s, we'll be too late. Step one, merge of Canada plus America to empire. Two, form a power ship equal or prop up regional powers. And the four countries he chose really... Really, I'm curious about to see why he chose them. He chose Japan, India, Brazil, and Turkey. Why did he put those four <laughs> countries out of all the other ones? In the Gosh, world? let's see if he let's see if he'll take the mic one more time. I don't know if I should speak on it, but let's see. He what said he's done talking. He really meant he walked out the room. He probably went to do his loner thing. Uh, Gary, Wait, what, had... were, what were the four countries again? Japan. India, Brazil, and Turkey. Japan and India make sense because they're closer to China. But my curious question is, why did he pick out of out of the other two countries? Why did he pick Turkey and Brazil? Tur Tur Turkey, Turkey um, has the largest army in the Middle East. 
They're stronger than Iran. They're stronger than that paper tiger Saudi Arabia. Love you, Crown Prince. And <laughs> um, they're, they're the most powerful country in the Middle East. It's not even close. You need someone to control that fucking place. And Israel doesn't have enough troops. So you take they're, they're more powerful than Israel. Do they have newer technology? No, but they got some of the newest technology there is. Brazil, very easy. Someone's got to control fucking South America. Yeah, th- those are all placed to st- treaty. You know, everything's there, man. Just got to study up on Turkey, man. That's that's a real powerhouse. That used to be the fucking Ottoman Empire. So, yeah, there, there's a reason. Um, India definitely has a place as well. Harry said a couple years ago that Omaha will be one of the biggest cities in North America by the end of the century. It already is. 100%. It already is right now. Why did he pick that city specifically? Because a lot of other cities are going to be underwater. Age of, Aquarius, Age, of Aqu- Age of Aquarius, the water bearer, has nothing to do with man-made, quote-unquote, um, climate change. It's the age of Aquarius. So the sea levels will be rising. So obviously places that are inland will be... These are the guys Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We, we got someone in here? <laughs> no, he's trolling. He's not, he's not, he's not jabinated. Okay. He's God damn, you got me excited. I got all fucking hard and shit. I thought I was about to fucking have you fucking bend over because I was about, I'm waiting for what are you bad. Everyone was 2021. Half the population was last year. Now no one's. Would you all die or something? You know, you know, they no. Say, you know, when I asked them or when Gary asked them, they said, oh, hell no. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. after now, this, the studies say after 22 days, they're no longer. So. Yeah, then then, then they then the new thing is that, then the new thing. Hey, you know what that sounds like? Like a woman thinks she's a virgin again after twenty two days. Hallelujah! They, they, I'm born again. I forgot about it. They they, they have that Megan Thee Stallion mindset. If the sex ain't slapping, it didn't happen. If the sex ain't slapping, it didn't happen. So you can erase your body count. So if the sex, yeah, what are you doing, hey, man? Well, yeah, I can hear you. What's on your mind? Numbers uh, rule everything. So I just want to ask you a few things about my dad, uh, who's currently uh, in prison at the moment and for very under random circumstances. Uh, I'd like you to give me a reading on him. And uh, he's going on trial on the 30th of this month. And I want you, if you could help me. Hey, can he, can he hear me? I don't know if he can even hear me. I, I'm like, my mic's messing up too at this point. I'm sorry, I just had someone to say me. He said a goat in a... I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry about that. So he's got he's a ghost. Yeah, but what twelfth? The twelfth of what day of of uh, December? Fifteenth. The fifteenth. Okay, 15th. yeah. So five life path. Um, I, I do like. I believe it or not, I know it sounds crazy, but I actually like his chances of getting you know, getting a light um you know a slap getting getting off. Even if he doesn't get off, he gets something light. I really do like the chances of that. Yeah, I was because I was seeing the same thing. Uh, because I saw as you said, it's a it's an eleven day, but it's also uh, a, since it's the thirtieth. I don't know if I'm uh, misinterpreting. It's a if it's a 30th, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but I actually like his chances of getting, you know, getting a light, um, you know, a slap, getting getting off. If, if he doesn't get off, he gets something light. I really do like the chances of that. Yeah, I mean, Can he's a me? five life path. Yeah, five is, you know, five is all about, you know, free spirit, travel, change. Now, what, what you said under weird circumstances, what was the actual, like, uh, the, the crime or whatever, if you don't mind me asking? And actually, sure. you need to give me other details. What, when, did, when did this happen? Was it two years ago? Is it just now going to trial? What day did he get caught? What day did he actually get put in? Things of that, things of nature, if you know all that. No, I don't mind sharing. Thank you for asking. So my dad is a very dancer at prison. And then last year, he was going to a funeral of my his brother's wife, right? And at the funeral, some fucked up shit happened. And then people got shot and he ended up killing his own brother, right? And they've never been in conflict or ever. He's never been in conflict with anyone before. And yeah, it happened in April. April, May last year, and the trial is being just postponed, postponed, postponed going forward. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I wonder if that day was a, uh, an 11 day. You said it was at a funeral and people got wait shot at the funeral? People were shooting at the funeral? At the, on the funeral on the night after the funeral happened. Oh, okay. I was was at, they shoot at the funeral. I was like, they, they, they gave no fucks. 
Oh my god. Yeah. That's, that's really that's really sad to hear. Yeah. So it, yeah. Do you know it, the it exact really... day? Do you know the exact day of that funeral? Do you have the pamphlet or anything? Because we look at every angle. I don't want to just have one yeah. part of the equation. What's the, what was the, the day, what was the day when that happened? Unfortunately, I I'm not too sure, but I think it was the twenty first of April. April twenty first. So this, you're not sure, but you believe it was April twenty first. So that was the day my mom and my dad went to the funeral. So the, the thing happened on the funeral day. Yeah, I'm pretty so, sure. Like, uh, if I'm doing the math correctly, that is, is a total four day. That was one of the worst days to do crime, to be honest. Um, you said yeah. April twenty first of twenty twenty two, or was it twenty twenty one? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah, that's that. That was a total four day. Yeah, that's a so, four day. Yeah. So you never want to. So whenever it's a total four day, you don't ever want to break the law. Whenever it's the fourth, <laughs> the thirteenth, one and three make four, or the thirty first, three and one make four, or a total four day. That is the worst day to break the law. Four is the number of law and order. So on those days, you notice there's more cops pulling people over more than any other day in the matrix because that's the number of law and order. So the law was broken on a four day. Hey, we're pretty much in the same boat. Joe Biden, uh, you know, got elected in his enemy year of 2020, which was the rat year. So um, even though America is a lot different from South Africa, we are, uh, you know, it's, we're going to be feeling the hurt, too, as well, overall. Mm -hmm. And it's also a seven universal year. So we're all under that energy. The main thing you do is save your money. Don't be splurging. This is not time to be balling out of control for a lot of people. Um, you want to be fiscal, fiscally disciplined. Um, the, the, the amount of resources you have, you want to gather the things that actually matter, whether it's, you know, non-perishable items, canned goods, things of that nature. Um, those things will, will always serve you great. Even if you overstock, you can't go wrong. You, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And um, and, and I don't know how, how, I'm sure you probably don't have access to, you know, um, it'll probably be a lot harder over there, but I'm pretty sure you can find ways to um, prepare right now because I'm sure not everyone is um, as versed as you are as far as this because you, you are in the know before it happens. So gather as much as you can and um, be ready to weather that storm for you know the whole year until we get out of it in the next year and a half. One more question please, about myself. Can I get a reading about myself? Then I will leave you, please. Sure, go ahead. I'm 95, 1995, born in March on the 25th. So, you know, you got the seven right there. High IQ, deep thinker. I mean, looking at this birthday, I say you're eventually going to have to wear glasses. I don't know if you're not secretly wearing them already. Um, one thing I'll say about you, you're really good at um, teaching people. I'll say overall, take care of your health. Obviously, the most important person to get injured, stub your toe. Come again, the health part. You're injury and disease prone. That's what seven energy is. And you're born, you have the pig. I would say overall, this will be an overall good power year for you. I think you'll overall do good when it comes to, um, you know, this year because the, the pig is the friend of the cat. So overall, this mm. should be, um, you know, I don't, I like your chances. I, I usually don't feel sorry for pigs. Usually they make it out uh, as far as being fortunate when it comes to um, landing on their feet, when it comes to uh, being auspicious in certain things, especially this year. Uh, all right. Thank you very right. much, Vice President. No problems. I think I'm going to terminate the space. You are terminated. Uh, unless anybody else has any closing statements, I think I'm going to terminate the space. Right, actually, we're going to let Ida go. Ida, whatever you want to say. Uh, you, you don't yes. want to get a chance to speak. Hi. Can, can you hear me, guys? Yeah, we can hear you. What's going on? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you for having me first. And um, I have a quick question from what I've gathered is that this year is going to be quite difficult, economically speaking, socially, everything. And I'm a goat, so I was wondering how these two energies uh, work together. So the goat and what other energy were you talking about? Because you're born, you're the goat, and you said some other energy. What energy were you talking about? The, the energy that, uh, because you guys say that this year is going to be quite complicated, economically speaking and socially speaking. Yes, the, so, yes, you're the yeah. cat. I do like the chance yeah. of people born. You're the goat, pig, and cat. Overall, no mm -hmm. matter what happens, I think that we'll, we'll have um, we'll be more braced for it because this is a, a beneficial year for you. Goat and cat mm -hmm. are friend signs. Overall, I do like your chances of you know weathering the storm better than others. But everybody's okay. gonna feel it in some way. So I mean, rest mm -hmm. easy. Um, just just don't you know don't overspend. Save your money, mm -hmm. save your resources until the storm passes. When it comes to this fi this financial crash is coming, which will be one of the worst that anyone alive has ever seen. So okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I think we're going to be closing out pretty soon. You also have, we got Steve coming in. Let's see what Steve has to say. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Yo, when is Gary going to make a video about the air science in GGT3 Academy? Oh, that's a, oh, I don't think, uh, I don't think he hears you, but, um, that's more, that's more for upper management to talk about. Cause remember most of the students are managing that one. Air science is they're waiting for the air science video, Aaron. Um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna be dropping. I'm pretty that will drop, but I don't know. Yeah, where. smoke a blunt and be gone for seven hours. Uh, do, that seven, do that seven thing. Yeah, a, a seven that's gone for seven hours. They need hey, their, their me time. Steve, what's on your mind? Cat, yeah, what? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on? Nothing, man. What's up? Um, I had a quick question before you ended everything. Yeah, go ahead. Um, because I'm in a cat year. I'm 99. And I know you said that the economy is going to, you know, be bad and shit this year. You think I would have good success shorting the market this year as a cat? In the Yeah. I think overall, I definitely compared to the average person. And also, you're a 99 cat. That's a 28 year. So I'm not going to, it's hard for me to feel bad for a 99 cat. <laughs> That's literally a 28 year. So you, I think, I think you'll be fine. Do you I have that Drake song? Don't think about it too much, too huh? much, too much, too do, much. Do you think you have any specific like areas you think that would be good shorting? Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to share that publicly. We do have a, a, a stock form and a crypto form. Right. Um, that's where we actually talk about that kind of stuff. I don't think I'm allowed to share that type of stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be be that guy, but I'm sworn to secrecy. We are the legal shadows. Just, just this. do like spy and Nasdaq and shit like that. You would, you would say that. Uh, oh man, this guy, this guy's asking all the perfect questions. All the perfect questions that I can't answer. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to maximize the bag, and you know. Yeah, I hear you, man. A lot of people are concerned right now, especially after hearing, you know, when we put those tweets out. But, you know, it is what it is. In a lot of cases, nothing to fear but fear itself. Just be right. very smart. Don't do any. I mean, just just actually, you should pretend like it's happening right now. If mm -hmm. you pretend like it's happening right now, prepare, over prepare, I think you'll be fine. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Do you have any other advice for uh, Five Life Path? Uh, watch out for the hoes. We always say that, but especially with guys, watch out for the hoes. You want to get a bunch of random women pregnant. Um, you you want to pick a you want to try to find a pick a good woman that matches your sex drive because you're a, you're a very high sex drive person. But you gotta find a woman that matches your sex drive and you stick with her. That's the Can easy I way to do it. My girl's birthday and you tell me if she's if it's compatible. No, I don't want to see. Her. I already know she's not compatible. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, September twelfth, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, so she's a cat. Um, so you know, I would say if she's a four life path. So for her, um, you know, overall, she views the world from a lens of, I'll put it this way. If she was, a, let's say, for example, somebody with a birthday, if they were born in a place like, for example, California, she'd be in the center. If she was born in Texas or Florida, she'd be somebody who's far away. So overall, the way she views the world is more, and I'm not even getting the positive. I'm talking about overall, she has a conservative view of doing yeah. things. She's not, she's not all willy-nilly like all these, um, you know, people that are all over the place. Like, oh, there's more than this many genders. And this is not even about politics. I mean, she's overall a pretty normal person no, as far as how she, no, yeah, how she, she was. I feel when when like we first met, she was more liberal and shit, and like I yeah, know. I don't want to make it about positive. I mean, just it's overall, just how she views the world. She's more in a um, she's not as willy nilly as everybody else as far as yeah. being all uh, you know, all out there. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. yeah. You, you but then again, like, we, most women have a. We talked about this before. Most women have a you know a socialist, communistic way of viewing things because you know most women inherently have to be taken care of. So I, yeah. you can't fault fault most of them for that. This not right. me hating women. This is this is a fact. Most women like to be taken care of, so most yeah. women will naturally support socialism, communism, things of that nature, because you know they like to, they naturally like to be taken care of. But you know. yeah, no, and she be work guy. She's a four, you know what I mean. She loves to work. That that be her main thing for the most yeah, part. Yeah, four. She she got to put in work. She's not going to get those free handouts, win those lotteries, those jackpots. She has to put in work. There's not going to be any handouts for her, so she definitely has to put in the work. Do you think based on my birthday, I'll be successful? I mean, everyone has potential, but it's it's, it's all about what the energy would put into it. I mean, yeah. nobody's willing to put in the four or five year grind to mm -hmm. get that quote unquote overnight success. They would rather go out to drink with the bros. Uh, they rather mm -hmm. party. They rather watch a hundred hours of Netflix. Where are you putting your energy and time into? You, know, you want to catch up on Netflix, or you want to catch up on your goals? That's something people have to decide from the day to day what they want. What do you want more? If you yeah. wanted that bad, you put in the energy. What you put energy to, attention to, that's what manifests the fastest. But you know, nobody thinks about it that way. Yeah, I feel that, especially if you use the energy the right way. Yeah, but you, people no, people want to sleep 8 to 12 hours a day. That's what they want. They want comfort. They don't give a fuck about their goals. They say they want it, but their actions are the opposite. So 99%, most people are losers. Let's be perfectly honest. This is how it's more, just more losers than winners, and they yeah. don't want it bad enough. A lot of people are just lazy with it. 
They don't want it bad enough, but then they want to blame, oh, this is a failure of capitalism. No, this is a failure of yourself. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> Yeah. Right, like you don't have the opportunity regardless. But especially if you're an American or somebody living in the West. Your life is so hard. All these opportunities. And oh it's it's the man's fault. It's capitalism's fault. Why you why you're right. why you're sleeping eight to twelve hours. On the road, you see help wanted signs everywhere. Yeah. You know, yeah, damn you have all these opportunities. Yeah, you, you, exactly. You, you, no one stop. The man is not putting a gun to your head to stop you from, from filing LLC paperwork to start a business. The man's not making you sleep twelve hours a day. The man's not making you play NBA two K for twenty hours a day. The mm. man is not making you watch Netflix for eight hours a day. Okay, the man is not stopping you from going to the gym. But okay. Seriously. <laughs> really? uh, but um, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I think I've um, bored you guys with my uh, speeches. And nah, gone. It was fun. Yeah, but I appreciate all the questions and shit you answered for me. Yep, you guys stay safe, man. Wise cat out. Uh, I'll yep, be doing I'm more and more spaces in Gary's absence because you know he's not doing that many locks on, but but it is. Everybody stay safe. Shout out to Ashley, who's not here anymore. And of course, shout out to my wonderful co-host, my girlfriend Glow Baby. Shout out to Aaron Wynn. Shout out to Corey. Shout out to Steve. Shout out to Gun. Shout out to Michael. Shout out to everybody that came in and everybody that supports Team Wise Cat. And I do have a lot of things planned this year. The podcast I do want to drop. Um, and I do want to start a group of talented individuals. So it's like of extraordinary individuals, like the Avengers. But anyway, I'm about to get out of here. Anything you want to say, Glow? She just wants to bye. laugh. Bye. Okay, Glow says bye. Everybody have a good one. Stay safe.